Hey y'all, Jim here with Simple Life Tennessee. We got a special treat for you today. Today we're gonna show you how we take venison that we've harvested from the deer season. And we've kept it in here for several months to get it to tenderize. We're gonna show you how we turn this into ground venison. Why don't you join me? All right y'all, Jim here with Simple Life Tennessee. What you are witnessing here is Mike Arrigo from Arrigo Outdoor Adventure. That's me. And his brother Russ. Howdy. And they are doing something that a lot of people have no clue what this is. They are actually processing freshly harvested, well, not freshly because it's been frozen for a few months now, venison. You guys think steaks are delicious? Look at that meat. We like to cut all of the white tallow off, a little lymph nodes in there, and all the silver skin. That's what makes your burger taste bleh. You yeah. remove that. That's right. You got some good burger. Yes, you do. No one likes blood. No. Nope. Yeah. We go for yum, yum. Not me. Yum, yum. <laughs> yum to yum, yum, yum. Mm-hmm. Well, we're going to let them keep working on that, guys, and we'll show you the rest of the process as it unfolds. Wow, that's cool. Remember, life is best kept simple. If I'm not careful... Pure venison burger. Mmm. Mm. That's, that's a burger? Gonna be. Oh. What is that brown stuff on there? Is that like a maple syrup? That sugar? would be bourbon. Whiskey bourbon flavoring. Oh, cool. You just made all that up, didn't you? I did. Compared to the layperson. <laughs> Guys, where they chop it up, they get all this new and undesirable pieces off then it comes over here into this pan and I eventually make it over here to the grinder and we'll show you how that process works that has different size wheels that go on it that will actually turn that into that will grind it down and then that will turn it into the burger All right, y'all, we're gonna finish up the last part of this and we're gonna change the blade over and I'm gonna show you how we take it from here into being hamburger. All right, y'all, the other thing you're gonna need is a vacuum sealer of some sort, and there are many different brands out there, but basically you wanna get your bags prepped and labeled 
And then what we're gonna do is we'll actually scoop these out into two pound portions. We'll put them in here, and vacuum seal them, and we'll show you how we're gonna do that here in just a second. This bowl right here is exactly 32 ounces of meat, so it gives us a two pound package, which is what we like. Put it in there like so. Smash it down a little. Put it in the vacuum seal. Here you have a two pound bag of venison burger, ready to go in the freezer. All right, y'all, so what you saw in that pan, we divided into 32 ounce, or two pound bags of beautiful ground venison. We end up getting seven packages. So that's right, 14 pounds of ground venison. And we could use this for anything from, basically you use it to replace your hamburger meat. Um, so you could do meatballs, meatloaf, spaghetti, all kinds, just whatever you use ground beef for. And this is the original 100% non-caged, free range, organic, grass-fed beef. And a lot of uh, dietitians will tell you this is actually healthier for you than regular ground beef. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just remember, life is always best kept simple. So we are coming in here into a little secluded area in the woods. We're gonna do a survey of the wildlife here and especially the deer, cause it's upcoming deer season where they come down through this ravine. There's also a little trail right here that they come down. And there's a trail right there that they've been coming down through.